So when it comes to key stakeholders in the complex landscape of vaccine debate, we have, first off, the medical professionals. These are essentially the doctors, nurses, researchers, and public health experts, and they essentially use scientific research and clinical evidence to inform and educate the public. With medical professionals, their recommendations often influence the public health. Secondly, you also have pharmaceutical companies. These are the stakeholders that develop, produce, and market these vaccines, and their power lies on the financial resources and the research capabilities, and they often have influence on the drug markets and also the healthcare policies. Uh, however, with their profit motive, this can be a conflict of interest and kind of lead to uh, skepticisms about the recommendations. Third, you also have anti-vaccination groups. These are the groups that are essentially skeptical about the vaccines uh, for various reasons, whether it is health-related uh, concerns, religious beliefs, or distrust of the pharmaceutical companies. And so with this group, are, they often uh, exert their power through social media and, or, uh, and also organizers as well. And some of these groups are well-funded and they can have a significant impact on the public um, opinion and also efforts against vaccinations. Last but not least, you also have the general public. And with this group, this essentially includes everyone who is affected by the vaccination policies. And these key stakeholders, they often exert their power through the collective actions and beliefs, and they can have, with their public opinion, they can have an influence on government policies and also the behavior of other stakeholders and whether they are willing or resistant to getting um, vaccinations, this can have a big impact on public health outcomes.